Atea, queen of the yellow giants, promises to free Tarzan's friends if he will remain in Tor as her mate. To show them what to expect if he refuses, she takes them to a balcony overlooking a small arena. A Ratorian prisoner is thrust into the enclosure with Toldo, the huge lion guardian of Atea's treasure cave. Unobserved, the queen pushes Jeanette over the edge of the balcony. As the lion charges, Tarzan leaps down on its back. He kills the lion, thus saving the lives of both Jeanette and the giant Ratorian. Furious, Atea orders them all, Uka the Rakorian included, taken away under guard. Wong Tai diplomatically flatters the queen and escapes imprisonment. He is quartered in the palace and given the freedom of the city. As Tarzan and his friends, closely guarded by Mungo and the Yellow Giants, are being led along the top of the wall surrounding the city to their place of confinement, the ape man thrusts Mungo over the edge. Uka, Darno, O'Rourke, and Ashley turn on their guards in an attempt to force them off the wall. With a yell, Tarzan charges headlong into the crowd of yellow guards. In an instant, the top of the wall is a seething mass of struggling men. The sharp, weird cry of the yellow men rings out over the tumult, and more giant guards rush up from all sides. Quickly, Tarzan and his companions are overpowered, made helpless by overwhelming odds. Gradually, the sounds of battle die away. Tarzan, Ashley, and O'Rourke are dragged to their feet. Jeanette, in the grasp of a giant, is thrust forward with them. Oh, oh well, it was a grand fracas while it lasted, Tarzan, my lad. Jolly good thing it didn't last any longer. One of those hulks sitting on your chest is bad enough, let alone half a dozen. Lieutenant Darno, Uka, they, where are they? They, they seem to be gone, Jeanette. Bigori, he probably fell off the wall in the ruckus. Lieutenant! Where are you? Never mind, O'Rourke. They won't answer it even if they hear you. What's that? They won't? I'll explain later. Here comes our friend Mungo. Faith, and it's too bad he didn't break his neck when he tumbled off the wall. It would be good riddance. Hey, you push Mungo, Tarzan. You try to get away. No good. Where are those two white people? Why, they were here when the trouble started, Mungo. Now it looks like they've gone. Tarzan, look. Atea's coming, with Dr. Wong and a crowd of palace guards. So, the heathen Chinese coming along to crow over us, is he? If I can get me two hands on the fat neck of you him... You leave while... him alone, Terry. We're in bad enough odor with Atea as it is. He'll probably have to put us to death now anyway. What is the meaning of this? What has happened? Speak, Mungo. Ah, then, push Mungo off wall. White people make big fight. Who call your white man gone? Gone? They cannot be gone, fool. They have dropped over the wall into the city. Go, take your men. Search every corner in Tor. Find them. What Mungo do with Tarzan, these people? Leave them to me. I shall put them where they will cause no more trouble. Go, search the city. So, my Tarzan, you thought to escape the wrath of Atea and Pantu. I wasn't trying to escape Atea. I... I stumbled against Mungo, and he fell off the wall. Your guards turned on us, and, well, that's all. No, not quite all, Tarzan of the Apes. Those two who have vanished, Uka the Ratorian, and he whom you call Darno. Where are they? When the fight was over, they seemed to be gone. Answer me, where are they? Or rather, where do they intend going? How should I know? What think you of all this, Wang Tai? What is there to think, illustrious one? It is in my despicable mind that this little disturbance may have been created for the very purpose it seems to have accomplished, the escape of Lieutenant Dano and the Ratorian. You hear, Tarzan? What say you to that? Nothing. But I do. Turn me loose in your little arena with this double-crossing, slant-eyed heathen Chinese, and I'll take him apart with me two hands. Shut up, Terry. Oh, big Gary, I've been shut up too long. Oh, please, Terry, keep quiet. You're only making it worse. Ah, uh, well, have it your way, Kushla. It would be no battle for me anyway. But get this wrong, my lad. If you and I live to get out of this place, stay clear of Terry O'Rourke, or I'll send ye to your venerable ancestors in little places. That would not be so amusing were it not true, O'Rourke, my friend. However, it is something to look forward to. Ah, oh, Bigari, it is that. And I'm a long way from being a friend of yours Enough, now. enough of this bickering. Guards, to the dungeons of Tor with them. Come.
Meanwhile, on the roof of the watchtower beneath which the fight has occurred, Uka, the giant Ratorian, and Darno lie silently motionless, stretched at full length behind the low parapet. As Atea and her guards move off with their captives back toward the palace and the great central rock tower, Darno turns to the Ratorian. Hello, Uka. Explique. What is it all about? Tarzan whispered to me to do as you say, and you tell me to climb up here. Why? Tarzan and I formed the plan as we crossed the bridge from the palace. He had no time to explain to you and your friends. He fought only to draw the attention of the guards to himself, away from you and me. Ah, je comprends. So that is why Tarzan's fighting was more smoke than fire. I noticed that he was not fighting as he usually does and can. May I lower the reason? What can we accomplish by being here on the roof of this watchtower? Under cover of the night, we shall climb down the outside of the wall. Once we are in the jungle, the Torians cannot find us. We go to Rotor, the city of my people. Sean Rotor, my father, will lead our warriors in an attack against Atea, who has captured and put to death many Rotorians. Oh, fine. I begin to understand. We are to return with your warriors and rescue Tarzan and the others. Yes. If only we will be in time. Now that we have escaped, or nearly so, Atea will be furious. Very likely she will decide to put them all to death at once. But I still do not understand why Tarzan wished me to go with you. It was my suggestion, Darno. You are a chief of warriors. I can be called so. I am an officier in the Navy of France. It is as Tarzan told me. Your advice as a chieftain will be needful in the attack upon a city as strong as Tor. My father and my people will welcome you as my friend. Merci bien, mon ami. Now I am glad to go with you. Me, voyez, Uka. While we have talked, it has grown dark. Cannot we attempt the wall now? There are no guards near. The city is quiet. Qu'est-ce que vous dites? We shall go. Climb carefully. There are many projections in the wall for hands and feet. Yet it is dark and they cannot be seen. Come. Sacre bleu, but this will not be easy. It is as dark as the inside of a cow. Your heavy footwear makes much noise, Darno. Oui, like a company of marines going into action. I should have removed them. Malheureusement, it is too late now. Parbleu, I, I do not like the sound of those beasts out there. Nor I. Once in the jungle, we must await the daylight in a tree. No, if only Tarzan were with us, we should have no reason to worry. Tenny, wait. One moment. That sound like a herd of elephants coming this way. Stay. It is the Torian jungle guard. Climb no lower. If they do not hear or see us, we are safe. We must wait until they have passed beneath us. Tonne de breast. They carry lights. If they look up, they will surely see us. I cannot hang here much longer. My fingers, they're slipping. Hold fast. A moment longer. There is only one more to pass. But it, it is useless, Uka. I cannot hold longer. Numbed and bleeding fingers clutching desperately, his heavily shod feet beating a loud tattoo against the rough surface as they seek to check his swift descent, Darno slides down the face of the wall to land with a crash on the ground below at the same instant that a straggler from the elephant patrol, hurrying to overtake his companions, rides up. Meanwhile, Tarzan and his companions, closely surrounded by their yellow guards under command of Atea herself, have been rushed to a gloomy cavern in the very bowels of the earth beneath the central tower of Tor. Before the heavily barred dungeon entrance, the group halts. Slowly, ponderously, the metal barrier is swung open by two guards. Thank you. 
I shall leave you, my Tarzan, here with your guard and Wong Tai, who may have something to say to you. Dr. Wong Tai can have nothing to say to me. If there's any talking to be done with the Chinese, let me do no, it. No, no, please, Terry. All right, Kushla, all right. I cannot say much for the comforts of your new quarters, my Tarzan, but you will not be in them for long. None of you. On the morrow, there will be another lion to take the place of Toldo in the arena with Jeanne Burton. For you, Tarzan, the embrace of Tantu. And for you others, I shall devise other delights. Until the morrow, Tarzan of the Apes, King of Kerchak. <laughs> Come on, Jeanette. Ashley, O'Rourke. One moment, Tarzan. Well, what is it? Atea means to put you all to death tomorrow by methods. Uh, well, let us not speak of them. If I may suggest... Oh, hurry up, Wong. Get it off your chest, whatever you have to say, and then get out. Your presence is contaminated. If I may suggest Tarzan agree to Atea's terms, it is the only way for you to save the lives of our, uh, our friends and yourself. Tano and Oka cannot get far before they are recaptured. The city is being combed by her men, as is the Junko outside. Your subterfuge will have been useless. I... That's enough. I definitely refuse Atea's offer. Very well, my friend. May the all-seeing guide your footsteps. Come on, O'Rourke. Come on in here, Terry, before those guys... Uh, one minute, Major, and I'll be with you. Before I'm locked in that cage of yours, Wong, my lad, I'm going to give Matt you Oroch, what I've been... keep your distance. The guards will tear you to pieces at my command, and I have my pistol. Oh, to the devil with the guards and your pistol. I'm going to have me way with you this one she double-tailing rat. Very well, O'Rourke.